What up, everybody? What up, squad? What up, YouTube? Check it. This week's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. Because, you know, I'm getting started in this t-shirt business. And once you get started, you make mistakes. So, if you're using heat transfer vinyl and you make a mistake, you don't want to throw away that shirt. You can reuse that shirt. And I'm going to show you guys how. Because I discovered this by a little Facebook group. And it's called VLR. VLR. Basically, it's called letter removing solvent. It uh, removes vinyl, so that little glue, when you press it, it leaves the residue. I can show you guys real quick. We're going to be working on this Gorillas. Pretty sure if you've been watching my past videos, you've seen me try and make this shirt. Did not come out good. So we're going to be fixing that with VLR. So if you like this video, you want to keep seeing videos like this, keep on watching. But right after this intro, we're going to get right into this and see how this works. All right, guys? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? What up, everybody? We back now. So I just, uh, basically, uh, all I did was basically lay down this on my little table. It's kind of where I usually put my camera to face my heat press because my heat press is right over there don't think you guys care but just thought i'll let you guys know so this vlr remover basically i did it on this one letter right here see how it is and it's taking it off what i am doing i don't know if i'm doing this right because i'm no expert so i'm showing you guys how i do it my personal experience me myself i so i am using this old shirt that i pressed on in another video I kind of just use it, but I'm just basically putting the VLR over the letters that I want to come off. And it seems like it's a lot, but it don't really come out that fast. I've been using this for a while and a bunch of different shirts and it lasts a long time. But you let that soak in for a sec. And once it's soaked in, kind of just get a, another shirt and start wiping it down. It smells like vinegar to me, honestly. That's what I keep smelling when I use this, is vinegar. So it works like amazing, honestly, because you can kind of see the O's, like the gorilla, everything's coming off. Like everything that was sticky before is coming right off. And you can even put a little bit on the one you're actually working on. Because I'm doing this whole design, so I'm just going to sprinkle it, get it pre-soaked in there. Like I said, I have no idea if I'm doing this right or if I'm wasting VLR or if I'm not. I'm showing you guys how I do it and how I fix my shirts. Because I am really selling anything right now i'm kind of practicing and i'm going to be selling soon definitely soon but we're just going to get all this taken off because that vlr that thing comes in so comes in handy because i mess up a lot i know not everybody's perfect and you don't want to not be able to reuse a shirt just because you ain't had the money to redo it or whatever but basically you just keep on spraying and wiping down until it actually comes off there it is now it's just spilling out so we're gonna get that wipe that over there get that l off takes a little bit takes a lot of work There we go, I just added a little bit more. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just tell you guys how I do this. And I never do a big design like this because I never really messed up this bad because this was puff final. And literally it all just swiveled up. Like all I did before was, uh, I'm sorry, I'm wiping and trying to talk, but all I did before was like little, forget the 
weed out certain things and that works perfect for that because it takes it right off and the glue comes right off too it seems like it's having a hard time with this uh using this vlr on a big design it's coming off as you guys can see but it's taking a little bit all right looks like it's coming all off i'm just putting it right on the letters exactly where it goes and wiping it off some of the glue seems like it's staying but for majority as you guys can see like these definitely came off that a is off let's try and take away that wear you're gonna see i think i'm getting the technique of this don't mind the blinds moving that's my dog moving back and forth that's daisy dukes i call her so we're just gonna sprinkle that v lr removal all on those letters right there. I don't know if you guys, uh, kind of t-shirt you guys make yourself or if you guys make anything, let me know. Drop it in the description of what, how you use VLR and what t-shirt you guys make. Do you do sublimation? Do you do heat transfer vinyl? Or do you just straight do transfers? You don't even bother with the making it yourself. You just send out the design and get the transfers back. So as you guys can see, it is coming off. Takes a little bit of effort. And little VLR, but it comes right off. Honestly, it's just such it's such a big design. There's so much glue that, like, literally all of that you see is residue. And like this whole part of design, even though you can still see this right here, this whole part of design was just like this. And then since I've been using the VLR, it's definitely been helping. So we're going to keep on attacking. I don't know if you guys want to know what I got planned for the future or anything like that. But I'm going to get into sublimation soon. I just got to come up with the money, honestly. I ain't selling t-shirts right now, so I'm not. I have one income. I don't have my other income coming in. All my money is invested into this. So everything extra I make, I kind of put back into my business. And one thing too, guys, when you get started like this and you're just trying to start your own business, use that, uh, I use my, uh, in not income tax, I use my, uh, what is it called? The thing the government gave you, the uh, stimulus checks, that's what it's called. That's how I fund it for all of this, for my heat press, for everything. My vinyl cutter, I got my printer. I basically got everything that I needed to start off doing the t-shirt business for YouTube. And then from there, I was just gonna go step by step and grow as my channel grew. So that's basically the plan. I just grow step by step. Grow step by step and see where we go from there but this glue is coming off i'm gonna sprinkle this all right here because this is a big portion so i'm hoping that it comes off right there because i need to reuse this shirt i don't i don't need to but i want to because this is a real comfortable shirt this is one of my bella canvas blacks that i first ordered in when i first started the channel i had ordered a bunch of black shirts come in and then my second shipment of shirts was blue and this is just one i had left over that i was kind of keeping for myself because it's in my size but it's coming off guys vlr works yes, and as far as the business part you guys can do whatever you want do whatever business you want you ain't got to listen to nobody so if y'all really want to start a t-shirt business and y'all want to do this like me, you ain't even got to do HTV. You ain't got to send out any products or you ain't got to uh, create your own designs. You can literally pay a graphic designer or use Canva. This is where I made this design. So I don't want to hear people say Canva ain't a graphic design in space because you just got to have creativity, honestly. So if you ain't got creativity, then this business ain't for you as far as the graphic designing part aspect of it. 
Other than that, you can pay somebody to be creative for you. You just have to have the vision. So if you have that vision and you're not a graphic designer, don't let that hold you back. You can send out your vision and somebody can make that vision come true. Trust me. And then you can go to Supercolor. Shout out Supercolor. And then send them your design and then they'll send you back a whole bunch of transfers. Or if you ain't even trying to do that and you don't want to press your own stuff, you can find an embroidery shop. Once you do get your image and they can make all your shirts for you. That way you just have the shirts in stock with your design already made and you sell it by the shirt. The reason I am making my own is so when I I don't have to carry inventory on me, if that makes sense. Because basically when somebody buys a shirt, they buy the design. So if I'm selling designs and I create everything myself, I technically don't have to make the shirt actually made until a sale is made. So until then, I have blank shirts sitting around. And the reason I like that is because if any design sells within that color, I can use any size shirt just as long as it's the color that the customer asks for. And they're not just buying designs or I'm not just having 30 shirts with one design and then another 30 shirts with another design and then one of the designs aren't selling too good. So then I'm just stuck with 30 shirts. 30 shirts that, I, that nobody liked. Because everybody, don't nobody, everybody can sell a shirt. They buy designs. People buy Nike because they like Nike. People buy Jordan because they like Jordan. It's just, it is what it is. So they don't buy your shirt because they like how your shirt is. They buy your shirt because they like your design. That's what they was looking at. They said that design is fire and I need to have it. So that's why you just got to be smart with it. If you, I'm not telling you to go a different route or do a different thing. But for me, it's just easier like that. Because just like this, I can reuse this shirt for myself. I wouldn't use it in a business aspect. I would just get it. I would have just cut the loss and just got a brand new shirt, honestly. Because this is such a big design. But I'm doing this for YouTube purpose. So you guys can see that VLR actually works. I don't mind using this VLR. Because I can get another one. This little part right here. I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. But let me dump this little extra into the trash can I have next to me and we'll be right back. Now for this little part right here, you're going to put your hand there, turn it inside out, and you're going to feel it right there. You want to get it from the back side because that is where the glue is. So you just want it to release. Let's get some VLRL in there. Turn that shirt back over. That's where we just sprayed. Then we're just going to peel it. easy as that guys this part didn't do but it still comes off easy but look at that this comes right off with the VLR it's literally just peeling off there's no glue stuck onto it it literally just peeled off so now I got about half a bottle left When I started, I had a little more than half. It ain't coming out. Like I said, it ain't coming out too much. Seems like it is because you guys see it on camera. But that bottle's pretty big. All right. So that's basically all we're going to do. We're going to keep going at this, guys. I don't want to hold you guys too long. Just keep adding VLR until your design comes off. And it's like I said, it's easier when it's smaller. This is such a big design. This design was this big. 
and now it's all off. So that's VLR. it, guys. That's all this video basically is, is showing you how to use the VLR. It works. Use it on a smaller design if you need to. But as you can see, for the most part, it's coming off. It is a big design, like I keep saying. So it ain't really all going to come off. At least I don't think. If you uh, see me do something wrong, let me know. I don't want to sit here all day trying to get this off. See, like that's coming off right there. Like it comes off. You just have to be patient. And just use the VLR. That's all it is. Like it works, guys. That's all I wanted to show you is that it actually works. And I'm not going to take too much more off this. Because if you see that design... I'm just going to layer something on top of it to hide it's it. It's not perfect because I ain't uh, done yet. But you guys got the gist of how VLR works. And hopefully from this video, you can figure out how to use it. And maybe learn a mistake if I did something wrong. So, you guys like what I'm doing? Stay tuned.